Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel is Julie Entertainment, bringing you Axel's Equestrian Reviews, where today we will be reviewing My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 11. Winter wrap-up, winter wrap-up, let's have a holiday cheer, la 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 la, you'll never get the song out of your head. But yeah, you'll definitely never get the song out of your head. But before we start, I have... Uh, confession to make. I've been lying to you guys. I am not really Axel Azuli the Alicorn. I've been dishonest and I'm ready to give the truth. So here I am. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm a Mayhem. Coming to you live from the Discord Dimension. And you may be wondering, who are you? What have you done of Axel Azuli the Alicorn? And no, I actually have been Axel Azuli the entire time. I was just masquerading because I didn't want my, uh, my status as being the spawn of Discord to get me any fame. But I've decided I'll use it as an advantage. Uh, and as proof here, right, here's my little sister, Screwball. Hi, Screwball. Uh, but I'm doing a review about now, Screwball. You need to go. See you later. So, without further ado, let's get into Mayhem's equestrian reviews. Blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this episode, what did I think of it? This episode was freaking hilarious. There are a lot of good things. I'd say one of the best parts was when, well, uh, right after the uh, song, which I will get to later, uh, Twilight is going up to Rarity to try to be, uh, wait, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Plot synapses! So, it's winter wrap-up. Since ponies control the weather in this universe, they need to wrap up winter when they're done. And so today's the day that they're wrapping up winter, and most uh, communities use magic to clean it up, but this time they're using earth pony tactics just because, uh, and they're traditional. They're a traditional town. They aren't as uh, they aren't as modernized as most of their towns. Just a traditional town. And uh, uh, not being able to use her magic, uh, Twilight doesn't know what to do. So he goes and tries to get a job from each of the main uh, other main six, and she fails each time until at the end. Of course, it's a happy ending, and it turns out that her talent is organizing rather than doing any physical labor because they had no organization prior. So. Yeah, that's the route they chose, and it's a pretty good route. I, uh, Having seen all five seasons before, it's really uh, obvious to me, but I'm thinking back then, when it had no, uh, when we didn't know that much about any of the ponies, it wasn't nearly as obvious. So I'm looking at the perspective of being really far in the future in the series. So uh, what was my favorite part? Well, it had to be right at the beginning when, she, uh, when Twilight goes to help Rarity. Now, they're making rain, uh, making birdhouses, and the first funny, there's two funny moments in the scene. The first is, uh, Rarity starts instructing Twilight on making a birdhouse, and it, uh, she pushes, uh, she pushes Twilight the supplies, then it pans to her for a second, for like two seconds, then it pans back to Twilight, and she already has it completely organized, and that cracked me up, because it really shows how uh, Twilight's kind of OCD. It's pretty ridiculous. I enjoyed it. It was pretty freaking funny. So, uh, but the real kicker in the scene was after Twilight made her, uh, her birdhouse. It was really crappy when it turned, uh, when it was done, and it was not at all good, and, uh, Spike said it should be condemned because it was so bad. And that was funny. And then the real funny part came. Rarity's like, oh, it's Spike, 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 Spike. It's not that bad. The birds could use it for, like, an outhouse. And see, hearing that, yeah, I just cracked up. I fell on the floor laughing because I never thought... Uh, I didn't really remember... I did not remember that joke at all. And I had no, I did not see that coming and it just knocked me off the chair because the sock factor that they'd actually say a joke like that in MLP. It was funny. Uh, yeah, I just loved it. This brings up one major point of the episode, the fact that Spike is pretty much a douchebag during the entire episode. And normally this would be a negative in my book. A character being a douchebag is never really good. It's usually bad not done right, and it's just annoying. But this is an example of being a douchebag done right. 
Now, uh, so the epi- the jokes that Spike makes during this episode are just knock your socks off hilarious. Like I just showed you the uh, outhouse one in the context of the episode. That's just freaking hilarious. And uh, so, and saying that makes it really good is that in the end, Spike actually gets what he deserves and the fact that he falls in ice water while sleeping and gets a cold. So this negatively affects him for his bad actions, and that's good in my book. So he, uh, it's a good example of being a douchebag done right and getting punished for what he did, and it's just uh, laugh out loud hilarious. So here's the real thing that everyone says about this episode. The song, Winter Wrap-Up. And it is an extremely catchy song. Now, the general consensus is this is one of the best songs in the entire series. I honestly, I really like the song, but I find it a tad bit annoying. I don't really know why. It's just always been kind of annoying to me. I know it's an amazing song. It's just not quite my style. Uh, It's never been really my style, but I still like the song, and I can see why it's one of the best songs in the whole series. And I will be singing that song for the next, like, three weeks because it's such a catchy song, OMG. It's funny. Uh, It's just ridiculous. And the episode as a whole, it is really, really funny. Now, the other two, uh, the two episodes I've given five stars in the past before, the thing that was in common with them are there were the only two videos I could watch from Sand in 1995, my favorite commentator, and that's because most of his season one episodes were taken down due to copyright claims by Hasbro, so I was only able to watch those two episodes out of the first 11 episodes, which is sad, aww, but the, uh, but the upside to this was this was done by my second favorite, Cobalt Sky, and this episode made me laugh the whole time without the help of San in 1995's commentary, which is one of the reasons why they were so funny in the first place to me. Uh, so this episode was able to stand on its own without the help of San in 1995, and uh, it was pretty. It was a hilarious episode. I'd say just about every episode was hilarious. Uh, helping out Rarity, hilarious. Pinkie Pie, hilarious. Fluttershy, hilarious. Uh, Applejack hilarious. The one uh, that I w- that wasn't really funny was helping out uh, Rainbow Dash because it was like, hey, can I help? No, you don't have wings. Aww. Uh, so uh, that was just like one joke. And thinking how smart uh, Twilight is, I'd expect that C would know better than this. Uh, C wouldn't have asked a dumb question. Uh, but I think the excuse for the episode is she forgot for a moment that she was not allowed to use magic and she could just puff it up with her, uh, break the clouds of her magic. So that's the only excuse. If she remembered that she couldn't use magic, then that's just Twilight being stupid. And that's not really appealing because I really like Twilight. She, as I've said previously, she's the character that's the most like me. And I don't like acting stupid. I try to act smart as much as I can. But overall, this episode was purely hilarious. And because of that, I have to give it 4 out of 5 stars. I could, I would give it 4.5 out of 5 stars, but the ending was kind of anticlimactic uh, with like no dialogue and just the winter wrap-up instrumental. And uh, there were a few slow points in this episode that kept it from getting any higher than a 4. But this episode was overall freaking hilarious. I loved it so much, and I really can't wait for next time. Uh, when I'll be reviewing Season 1, Episode 12. Do you agree with me? Did you like the song much more than I did? Do you like the song much less than I did? Leave a comment below to tell me your opinion. Should it have gotten 5 stars? Should it have gotten 3 stars? Should it have gotten somewhere in between? Should it have gotten less? Should it have gotten more? It's all up to you. Tell me in the comments what you think. And until next time, I'm Mayhem from the Discord Dimension, bringing you Mayhem's equestrian reviews. And goodbye!